you have ever one of those times where you just say, I don't have a clue what to do. You shrug your shoulders, you raise your hands, you are a big question mark sitting there or standing there. Well, I've been there many times. But God always does. And what a tremendous reassurance that is to us. It says in Proverbs 3, verse 6, God will make straight your path. Well, intuition given to you by God can be with you today. An intuition that just knows. You don't know how you know, but you know. A proper judgment that is higher than your human mind. A wisdom that is definitely higher than your human mind or anything that you could have possibly learned in school. A justice with you raising above personal opinion and going into the spheres of God on judgment both of yourself and of other people and a discernment, a, a pure knowing, a, a profound understanding that becomes natural as you rely upon it. All these qualities and many more are God-given and they belong to you and they belong to each one of us and they are ours by divine heritage. It says that you are infilled with power in the Bible. Well, what is that power? Well, today it is what we're talking about. It is intuition, discernment, pure knowing, a profound understanding. That power can be yours. Christ is waiting to help you. And the touch of God, what does that mean? Well, it, it isn't a human touch so much as a spiritual touch. And it does not stay on the outside of you, no. It goes through you, through your mind and through your body. And it doesn't just change you in the moment. It changes you, it changes your soul, it changes your mind, your knowledge, forevermore. Christ is waiting at the door of every soul. And all we have to do is awake to it. You know, it says in the Bible, Awake, thou that sleepest, rise from the dead, and Christ shall shine upon thee. Well, it means that we are sometimes walking around half asleep. I've been that way. So have you. And we need to get out of this sleep that we're in, in mind and body and soul, and arise from our deadness of our day and have Christ again shine upon us and through us. We must acknowledge the higher Christ intelligence at work in our mind. And we must turn in prayer. And as we turn in prayer, we have the powerful intuition and judgment, wisdom, and the justice and discernment and pure knowing come through us. We're given right direction, right answers. So no matter how confused a situation seems to be, we're showing what to do, and then we can do it with a cheerfulness and a courage. We are wise with the wisdom of Christ. Every decision we make is an illumined one. And we make right choices, and we will use good judgment.